Hi, this is Howard Schwartz, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I go about drawing a caricature, in this case a caricature of David Letterman. Um, beneath the photo of David Letterman is a generic drawing I did of a generic head, where I start off with an oval and I put in an eye line, a line for the nose, a line for the eyebrows, a line for the mouth. Um, not supposed to be any particular person, just supposed to be um, a starting point in terms of the proportions that we can then deviate from when we do a drawing or a caricature of, of a real person. So let me start off the drawing. I'm going to start off with an oval the same way that I did in the generic drawing. And I just want to say that when I'm doing this, the idea isn't to be completely precise, to be very loose, and as I said, the important. The, 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 I, I I truly believe that anyone, if they put their minds to it and they were given the right instruction, can be taught how to draw. There's a certain belief system out there that says that. Um, that there are people that you either can draw or they can't draw, that it's, it's a hidden talent, either you have it, you don't have it. I, I don't believe that's the case. I believe that given the right instruction, anyone can learn how to draw. And the thing that gets in their way, let me just say this point, that I'm, this line that I'm making here is the hairline, which is about one-seventh of the way down. This is the eye, line of the eyebrow. This is the line of the nose. And in David Letterman, as opposed to the generic head, uh, at least optically, and it might be because of the shadow that's underneath the nose, it, it looks like the mouth is kind of squashed against, against the nose and that there's a lot more room down here between the bottom of the lip and the, and the, and the bottom of the chin. So I'm going to accentuate that in my drawing. So here's the mouth. It has a very wide mouth, as you can see. So I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit. And here's that. And there I'm making the bottom of the chin a little bit lower than where it would have been in real life. So let me just erase some of these extra lines so they don't get in the way. Now the the nose is a little bit flat on the bottom so I'm going to do that as well. And the, the nose, believe it or not, is very narrow on top so it really flares out and you get down here. So I'm going to try to capture that same quality as well as the shadow underneath the nose. And I'm going to do a little bit more detail in terms of what's going on in the mouth. And let's see. This line is important also. Now the idea of, it would be great to get a likeness from this, but the main thing that I'm after in terms of doing this is the process. So that's what I'm trying to communicate. Hmm. I think that maybe the teeth are a little bit too close together, so let me er erase that and do that again. And that's a little bit better. That's pretty dark here. It's dark on the other side also. Plus he has all these laugh lines. So let me see if I can replicate that. And as I said, it's pretty narrow up here where the nose is. And the glasses are actually relatively small. So I'm going to exaggerate that and make them relatively small in my 
my caricature. So one of the ways of turning on the right brain and making the left brain less important is by comparing. So at this point, the only thing that we're comparing is the way David Letterman actually looks with the generic figure, the gen generic head that's underneath. And I always do that. Let me make it the right angle. So I'm going to just put in the ears. Right now I just want to get something on here that I can then work with to make the points that I want to make. So, yes, somewhat bushy eyebrows, so let's put that in. And here's the hairline that I described before. Just want to get the hair in. So, and all these laugh lines are very characteristic of him. Let me get that in. As I said, it'd be great to get a likeness, but the main thing is to make certain points about the process, which is what I'm hoping to do. Now, there was a book that was written a number of years ago by Dr. Betty Edwards, and what she described in her book were ways of trying to get people to turn off the left brain and turn on the right brain. And one of the ways she went about doing that was by taking photographs of well-known people and turning them upside down. And I'm going to do that now with David Letterman. This is the David Letterman photograph upside down. And as you can see, when you look at it this way, you're much more aware of the shapes that are going on in the, um, in the photograph. For example, it's much easier to see this white, these white triangles here and this red shape here, and this black shape here, and those, those um, that, that same way of looking you can see in the face also. And one of the things that you can notice from seeing this upside down is how asymmetrical David Letterman's uh, head is. So for example, look at the, look at the, eye, uh, the, the ear on this side and compare it to the ear on this side how this ear looks a little flattened out whereas this ear seems to, seems to come out a little bit more and the, the same thing is true with the nose the nose doesn't look symmetrical either if anything it looks like it's curving this way and um, this this part of the nose where it flares out seems like it's wider and curving uh, in this direction anyway, anyway from from right to left and I'm gonna I'm gonna go right side up again and I'm hoping that by doing that you're able to see certain certain shapes that you wouldn't wouldn't have paid attention to otherwise because the more you're able to do that the more you're able to compare how the left ear looks compared to how the right ear looks the more you're able to compare how one side of the mouth looks compared to the other side of the mouth um, and the same thing with the nose. Is one nostril bigger than the other nostril? Is one nostril flared out more than the other nostril? Is one eye wider from top to bottom than the other eye is? Um, the more you can see those differences, the more you're, you'll be able to draw them, and the more you're, you're, you're turning your right brain on and turning your left brain off. So I think that's a good place to stop for now, just to give you an introduction in terms of um, how to look at a face and how, how to approach a caricature. So there's a lot more to be said about this and there's a lot more um, that's going to be done in terms of revising this drawing until uh, it's a more effective caricature. But this video was just to get, get your feet wet. So thank you very much for listening.